Okay, hi Gary. Um, I thought probably easiest to answer your question by video. So, question 3a, state the MZ value of the molecular iron peak. Well, the molecular iron peak, when you're interpreting these spectra, the molecular iron peak is always the one furthest down this end, okay? However, it's not this teeny tiny little one here, okay? So it's the, it's the, it's the last of the significant peaks, okay? So we've got lots of tiny little peaks here and here and a tiny one down there. We disregard those. They um, are caused by something called fragmentation. Please don't worry about that yet. Uh, so this question is a little bit tricky because the scale's slightly open to interpretation, but I would say probably that peak is at 58, an MZ value of 58. Okay, uh, question B, the MZ value of the peak with the highest relative abundance. So we're looking for the tallest peak, which is very clearly this one. Okay, that's got the highest relative abundance, relative abundance measured in percent. And uh, looking down here, I'd say that's probably, what, 44, maybe? Yeah, probably about 44. Um, okay, question C. What is the relative molecular mass, or MR, of this alkane? Well, we've actually already answered that question because the MR of the compound is going to be whatever the value was for uh, the molecular iron peak, okay? Because the molecular iron peak is caused by the whole molecule itself unsplit. Um, so... Our answer to CI is going to be the same as our answer to A, which is 58, okay? And then the last question, suggest a formula for the alkane using the MR. So, tiny bit of maths required here. What you're going to do, you've got your the MR of your compound and you know your general formula for an alkane, okay? Um, sorry, I'm just holding this kind of very wobbly. Um, which means that we're going to divide the MR by 12. The reason we're dividing it by 12 is because 12 is the mass number for carbon, okay? Now, if you do that, you will get 4.8. Now, you can't have 0.8 of a carbon, and you can't round up because you can't just magically have 0.2 of a carbon. So we're gonna say that this formula has, this alkane has four carbons, okay? Now, a couple of ways you could do this now. You could say, well, using my general formula, CnH2n plus two, the formula is gonna be four times two plus two, which equals 10. So the formula would be C4H10. And that works. That is the formula of an alkane. Alternatively, you could say, uh, so we've got four carbons, so you could then say four times 12 equals, uh, crikey, what does that equal? Uh, four times 12 is, what, 48? Excuse my awful mental maths there. Uh, is 48. And so the amount of the, the, to the amount of the total MR that is accounted for by carbon is 48, which means 10 of that value must come from hydrogen. Hydrogen has a, a mass of one, therefore there must be 10 of them. So you can then say 58 minus 48 equals 10, and that tells you how many hydrogens you're gonna have, i.e. C4H10. Okay, hope that helps.